Welcome. In this video I want to show how fast and easy it is to bring static character scans to life with Accuric by Reillusion. My name is Frank Zwick. I am a 3D artist from Germany with over 30 years of experience in the 3D industry. Since 2015 I am offering a 3D scan service specialized in photogrammetry people. I was involved in various projects since then where I was responsible for photogrammetry people part. If you want to see more of my work, please visit my homepage. You will find the link in the description below. Let's get started and jump right into Accuric. Now we are in ActorCore Accuric, looking at a pretty simplified user interface. Only five steps to go to get your character rigged. And if you never used Ectoco Accuric before, I recommend to watch the tutorials online. They are pretty much on point and you will be good to go. The first model I want to test is this human male firefighter ambulance in APOS, at least similar to an APOS. It's an quad retopo mesh and um, has got PBR materials on it. I will take this now into Accuric. Simply drag and drop your character in this area and Accuric will bring the model in. Showing up in the viewport with a color texture applied and in the upper right corner you see a reference image with annotations telling us to place the center line in the middle of the hips. I will do this now. And proceed to the next step, that's rig body. Accuric will have a closer look at the model, trying to place the body joints as good as possible. Now we are looking at the estimated body joint positions. And if we compare these to the positions in the reference image in the upper right corner, we can see that some of the body joints need to be repositioned. Accuric will guide you through this process. When you hover over one body joint, the reference image changes accordingly, giving you some useful information on where to place this joint correctly. I will do this now and speed up the video. So I am finished with placing the body joints and proceed to step number four, hand rig. Like in the previous step, the joints uh, are represented as circles in the viewport and Accuric will guide you through with reference images. The most important step is to adjust the local rotation axis of the thumb and uh, this needs to be adjusted uh, perpendicular to the thumbnail. When I'm satisfied with the position of the finger joints, I can move on with the other hand 
and do exactly the same. Now I finalize the character. And voila! That's all you have to do to bring your static 3D scans to life. The model shows up in the viewport with an idle motion applied. So you can easily judge whether your rig is working for you or not. You can apply different poses and motions to your character by clicking on the thumbnails in the library in the upper right corner. And if you are not satisfied with the results, you can always go back to step number three or four and reposition the joints. I'm also very pleased about the result of the finger rig, taking into consideration that the fingers are not separated from each other. Another nice feature Acuric has to offer is the Pose Offset. Here you can retarget your uh, animation while it's playing in the viewport. And if you are happy with the result, you can easily export the rigged character in various formats or upload your rigged character to Ectacore. There you will find a huge library of poses and motions which you can apply very easy to your character and export them. This app saves so much time and it's so easy to use that it will certainly find a place in my arsenal of tools. If you want to bring your static meshes to life, this tool is for you. It's fast, it's easy and within minutes you bring your characters to another dimension. I can strongly recommend this tool to you and I wish you happy rigging. I will upload this model with idle motion to Sketchfab so you can have a closer look. The link is in the description below. Bye!